Okay, here's my uh, UDK final result for this scene that we're going to be uh, showing off here. If you saw the last video, you saw the texture I painted, which is what I'm being used here on the stone. And um, we're going to get right into that next. This uh, I started with the box. I put a few connect on it. Uh, you broke it up a little bit here. Put a couple of turbo smooths on it based on the uh, tutorial in a previous tweet where uh, the first one is based on the smoothing groups so that you know you keep the edges hard. We put a Spirify on there and a couple of displacement layers on there. Uh, modifiers in mags obviously. Um, these are a couple of cellular displacements. Uh, let's look at those really quick here. Uh, you know, I got two of them. One is based on a you know circular or chips. You know, you adjust the size, the fractal iterations. Just do what you want. Have a good time. Experiment. See what happens. Um, so I take this uh, the original brick. I make sure that it's spearified and um, the sizes uh, are the same kind of all around, so I can rotate it and say one face is this brick, the next face is that brick, and so on, and I can mirror it and rotate it to make an entire set of bricks. And most of these look pretty customized. There's an, you know not much tiling based on the way I uh, rotated and mirrored them. Um, I'm using the same effect on a plane for the grout behind that. Uh, this whole, these rocks kind of like dark, scary, sharp lava rocks. But um, I'm using the same effect here. Here we go. Here's the base. Adjusting that back down to the lowest mesh. And then activating it all again to show you how it works out. Turbo smooths. Displacements. Um, so yeah, there's the base. Got the trim on top. Here's the rocks. I got the kraut. This is pretty much the high detail mesh. So next is making the low detail model. Um, the cool thing about this, I deactivate the turbo smooths on these uh, high detail meshes really quick. And you see how they just go right back down to being simplified meshes so I take this uh, basic idea simplify all this and uh, smooth it all out and uh, the final result is this uh, mesh right here now back to the high detail mesh the high detail mesh uses the stone one and two, the one that I showed in the previous video where I painted it, the uh, previous one was painted before the video and the one that was painted during the video. And uh, it also has a uh, solid blue and solid red diffuse that I also, for the whole bake out, when I, when I bake out all these materials, I bake a normal map, AO, a couple of diffuse maps, and yeah, let's see the uh, results of that. There's a normal map, a lot of errors. A lot of errors, look at all those. Look at all these errors. Here's the AO, so many errors. The, the red blue mask, uh, the diffuse mask, again. You saw so many errors. We're gonna clean those up. I'm gonna clean those up right now. So here's the uh, diffuse. This is a result of me cleaning it up quite a bit. You can see the adjustments happening there. Here's the uh, the AO being adjusted and placed on there. Some uh, adjustments of the shading for the final diffuse. There's an additional layer. Painted some, uh, you know, what, what needs to be done. Just adjusting layers, painting it up, sharpening it, getting the final one done. It's not really final. 
I'm gonna I'm gonna touch it up a lot before that, but let's let's do the spec. The spec I'm just you know uh, desaturating it, doing some level adjustments, painting in some highlights. The final spec that I end up using in the game actually has some color in it, but this is just for the video. Um, the normal I go in, put a blank background, get the normal in. I, I adjust the levels of it, make it really intensified. But um, let's talk about the uh, material real quick. So I'm using uh, the uh, one of these text coordinates on uh, one of those high detail textures I painted previously, and I'm using it. I'm adding it on the self desaturating it so that it can be added as a detail layer. I get the the basic diffuse here with some color. That's all for um, material instances, but this material doesn't really matter. It's it's defaulted. Um, the next is the specular. Here's the spec. I got uh, again some more modifiers. These are uh, spec color, spec intensity multipliers, um, spec power adjustments. Again, basic stuff. Plug it all in. Have a good time. The normal kind of does the same thing. I have a I have a normal modifier, which I'm multiplying it by its itself. And you can adjust that. You can set that up with the parameters. Uh, here's a a basic normal detail setup. Again, text coordinates, multiplicate, multiplying it. You know, adding it on there. And that's what's happening. Here's the uh, the final result in game. Again not really what it's going to end up being in the final final but the quick result of this tutorial so i hope you learned something and thanks for checking this out